everybody, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday night. I hope you guys don't mind hanging out with me for one more video. I wanted to review for you guys tonight, Marshmallow Fireside just came out for fall. This is a classic Bath and Body Works candle. And a lot of people have been asking me uh, to review this one. I've got so many candles to review. I got to keep going on these reviews, especially with the sale. So Marshmallow Fireside. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite fall candles. To me, it's kind of the candle equivalent to the Bonfire Bash. I love this scent so much. So Bonfire Bash is actually vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. Let's spray a little bit of this on. The Marshmallow Fireside is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla with crystallized amber. So the scent notes are a little bit different. However, I do think that they are, at the very least, siblings. <laughs> so if you like the Bonfire Bash and the Body Care, I think you're going to like the candle. If you like Marshmallow Fireside, I think you're going to like the Body Care. I do. I mean, it kind of goes back and forth. So usually Bath & Body Works brings out at least a couple of different designs of Marshmallow Fireside. I've actually got a really old one. Check this one out in my collection. How awesome is this? I love the design on this one. And I actually think the scent has been very stable throughout the years. Marshmallow Fireside to me is Marshmallow Fireside. <laughs> this year's, um, we got one of these really neat candles that has the um the leaves on it i actually like this design a lot um this is actually i think the third time that i've burned this one this year i lit it up a couple of times um this past weekend i was kind of enjoying it when things were a little bit cooler it's definitely a cool weather candle for me check out the lid too is this lid not absolutely gorgeous i love this um hammered copper look. I really think that Bath & Body Works is doing a really good job on the lids. <laughs> I was so worried about lids this year with everything going on in the summer. I'm like, I do not want to go to those dust covers. Those dust covers are not doing it for me. So I'm very happy to get a lid. Um, these aren't the thinner lids. This is the thick lid. The only candles that I've seen the thinner lids on have been um, the White Barn. So what does Marshmallow Fireside smell like? Um, it's a super unique blend of marshmallow, vanilla, and like a nice toasty, smoky scent. Um, it's definitely got a sweetness to it. It's not like a Halloween smoke, though. I'll have to say that much. I think it, for me, moves more towards, like, vanilla marshmallow toastiness as opposed to, like, a fire or, um, you know, a really deep Halloween smoke. For me, like, Pumpkin Bonfire is a lot more, like, late season smoky. And Pumpkin Bonfire is actually white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds, glowing embers. So you can really, in Pumpkin Bonfire, smell more of, like, that embery, um, smoky scent. And then you also get um, the clove. If you don't like clove... I would get Marshmallow Fireside because there is no clove in Marshmallow Fireside. It's a lot more um, just like toasty vanilla marshmallow. I love this one. And I like I said, I don't think it's super heavy on the smoke. But if you just like a little bit of the smoke, I swear it's really... So similar to Bonfire Bash, <laughs> seriously. Every time I always do the comparison, I'm like, it really is. They're, they're pretty close siblings, <laughs> Bonfire Bash and Marshmallow Fireside. Um, the throw on Marshmallow Fireside has always been pretty good, especially for a uh, vanilla type of candle. Um, so remember we had that vanilla bean candle last year at Christmas with the moon on it? It's almost like taking um, that vanilla bean candle mixing a little bit of like um, a smoky fire roasted scent in there 
and then um, like a little bit of amber and a little bit of woods. But like I said, sometimes the vanilla candles aren't quite as strong. When you mix all those other scents in there, the throw is actually pretty good on this one. I would say it's a solid medium. I think this year is just as strong as um, years past. I don't notice any difference whatsoever from, um, you know, like this year to last year. And on cold, um, like I said, this one is from, you know, I think this is actually a Christmas candle. Sometimes they do bring Marshmallow Fireside out um, for Christmas. Don't forget, we also have Fireside that usually comes out um, at Christmas. I always say that one always smells like Santa Claus's house. That one, to me, smells more like a smoky chimney. <laughs> so, in order of, like, Fireside smokiness. I would say Marshmallow Fireside is the least smoky. Pumpkin Bonfire is like the middle and then Fireside for me is like more towards like a fireplace smoky, if that makes any sense. Um, also in this collection, I love these jars, by the way. These jars are absolutely awesome. Like I said, they've got like fall leaves on them. There's all different colors. Uh, they also come in um, cranberry woods. I'm not crazy about cranberry woods, though. I never have been. It's a little bit too cranberry for me. The online exclusive Crisp Morning Air. That's another one that I kind of go back and forth on. Not my favorite. Um, pumpkin Clove. I abs that's another one that's definitely a late October scent. I do like pumpkin clove a lot. I'm a huge fan of clove, though. I love cloves. And then um, also in that collection, we have Mahogany Apple. And then I just ordered you guys. I got Cinnamon Stick. Online exclusive. It's a red jar. They had Cinnamon Stick last year. I think for Christmas in the single week. I got it. I loved it. I love anything with cinnamon. I love anything with clove. <laughs> So I am all about these candles. So I'm super excited um, to get cinnamon stick. But like I said, if you like, like toasty marshmallow, this is definitely a candle that will take you from August all the way up till December, depending on, you know, what, what month you want to burn it in. I mean, it can be a beachy scent with the toasty marshmallow. It can be a nice, cozy September scent. It's perfect for Halloween. And then it's awesome for Christmas. So this is definitely a candle I think you're going to want to pick up. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's a specific candle you want me to review this weekend. I will try to get to it. I know there's a lot of fall candles out there, but with the sale going on, I have so many requests for candle reviews. So I'm trying to get to all of these so you can have an idea of what uh, they smell like. So anyway... I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.